God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this hour. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Jesus, come and take control. Manifest yourself, O oh Lord. Transform your children in their lives. Touch them. Make them become new. When they go back in their area, in their churches, everywhere, people we know revival have started in Jesus' name. Use them mightily this time around in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover the word of God with the blood of Jesus. I pray the Lord, you will open their eyes. You will turn them from darkness to light. Many will see their fault and they will repent today in Jesus' name. I pray the Lord, the fear of God that Satan has taken away from them. Lord, today you will deposit it again in their hearts in Jesus' name. You will make them to fear you when I deliver your word to them. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I'm so happy to stand here today to deliver some revelations to you about what the Lord wants us to know and how he is speaking to us. The Lord wants to save us. There are many things that have distracted us today in the world. Many people have left Jesus. They are following the things of the world. Many are busy doing their own things. Many are called, but few are chosen. Many know the name of Jesus, but they are not followers. But today, the Lord will make you for you to know the truth and not to be a pastor in vain. You will not know Jesus in vain. You will not worship Jesus in vain. And you will not play with his word. Today you will fear God more and more in Jesus' name. But before I go on, I want to bless you with a song. And this song has been blessing me. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful song. And it's a song that will bless you. And I'm going to introduce somebody to you in this song. This is the person I want you to carry as you are going home today. This is the person I want you to drop all what you are chasing in this world. Worldly pleasure, desire, and choose this person. I'm going to introduce you to this song. Hallelujah. May you be blessed as you hear the song in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we bless you. Sweet Jesus, you are the wind that leads my way. Sweet Jesus, you are the melody and harmony. Sweet Jesus, you are the eyes that I see with. Sweet Jesus, yes, I dance into your tune. For as I give thanks for all the soul, my soul belongs to you. Forever and ever, yes, my heart beats for you. As I give thanks for all the souls, my soul longs for you. Forever and ever, yes, my heart beats for you. Something more than gold, I've got something more than gold. Something more than gold, I've got something more than gold. If all of God is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'm telling to the world, Jesus. 
Jesus is more than gold. Something more than gold. I've got something more than gold. Something more than life. I've got something more than gold. If all of God is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I tell it to the world. Jesus is more than God. It's something I know that you call me your. Your love is unchangeable. Keep coming up to me. Savior of my heart, I love how you love me. Savior of my soul, I said it all of you. For as I give thanks to all the soul, my soul longs to you forever and ever. Yes, my heart beats for you. As I give thanks to all the soul, my soul longs for you, Jesus, forever and ever. Yes, my heart beats for you. Something more. I've got something more than riches, something more than life. I've got something more than riches. If all of God is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I tell it to the world, Jesus is more than gold. Something more than life. I've got something more than silver. Something more than fame. I've got something more than riches. If all of God is Jesus, I've got something more than gold. I'm telling to the world, Jesus is more than gold, more than gold, more than gold. I've got something more than gold. I tell it to the world. Jesus is more than gold. Something more than gold. Something more than silver. The Spirit of the Lord within me is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Something more than silver. The Spirit of the Lord within me is something more than gold. Something more than gold. Something more than riches. The Spirit of the Lord within me is something more than gold. More than gold. More than gold. I've got something more than gold. I'm telling to the world. Jesus is more than gold. More than gold, more than gold. I've got something more than gold. I'll tell it to the world. Jesus is more than gold. Put your hands together for Jesus. Jesus is more than gold, it's more than riches. I don't know why people are leaving him and they are pushing riches. In Jesus, everything is full. I've been wasting my life for years, pushing faith, pushing money, pushing job, pushing husband, pushing traveling. You dream as a young girl, you want to travel, you want to settle. I try all I could in my little strength and knowledge. Go to church tired of church go to abalis nothing works there you are getting tired you don't know what to do the world was very hard we are living by stress until i found jesus until lord jesus found me 2013 and today i've seen in jesus everything is complete places i was thinking of seeing one day in my life I said I will never see this kind of place, but we have been hearing about them. Countries. 
You are dreaming of having a good husband that will not make you cry. All the young girls see them going up and down. You ask their prayer point. They want a husband that will not cheat on them. A husband that will not beat them. A husband that will care for them. A husband that will love them. The husband that will make the woman will know that this is my own. Nobody else. I am not dragging this man with another woman. That is the hard desire of every woman. But we try in the world. We cannot get it. Until I found Jesus. And the Lord blessed me. I want to introduce Jesus to you. I want to tell you all your suffering you are going through. Give your life to Jesus fully. Believe in him. Suffering is part of it. Jesus is the way. It's more than anything. I have peace of mind. I know those days, any fashion that come out is a stress on me. I go to bed, one eyes will close, one eyes will open because I want to be among the fashion people. I want to dress according to the world. I want people to know me too. I'm not staying behind. I want people to recognize me in the society. We try to mingle among big people. We want people to know that we too, we are there. But it was not possible. It was just striving. Living from hand to mouth. Pain. Sometimes you sit in your room, you cry. God, what have I done? Why my life is like this? You go to church, you obey all what the pastor is saying. Is he sowing seed? If you sow seed, the Lord will break your yoke. Some of you don't sow seed. I've been sowing seed, sowing seed, nothing is coming out. We follow the voices of the pastors. We follow them and say, God, I've not been disobeying your word. Anything your, 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 your son in the church is saying. Those former churches I used to go, I go to different churches. Miracles. They will lay hands on us. They will do feet washing. This year you will travel, nothing will happen. They will give us all kind of oil, all kind of water. You have to bathe, you have to do this, you have to do that. Nothing. Until I found Jesus. Until the Lord located me. 2013. So that's why I love this song. I used to sing it. Jesus is more than gold. It's more than riches. It's more than everything to me. Because today, without Jesus, I'm nothing. But with him now today, I'm somebody. Hallelujah. I am going to remind you or tell you, some of you have had the testimony, but I'm going to remind your mind again. I'm going to bring it back to your mind. I'm going to take you back to hellfire. There are some things that the Lord showed me in my revelation. By the grace of God, the revelation that God gave me 2013 is very much, it's large. Very, very large. Hallelujah. Because it was a continuous process in the sense of the Lord keeps speaking, we will be writing. The Lord keeps speaking, we will be writing. But today I'm going to emphasize on my second visit to hell with the Lord Jesus. I want to show you and I want to tell you what the Lord showed me, a department of leaders, preachers, pastors in all ranks, some of you, you are here, you believe your overseer, maybe the person that leads you to Christ have died, he or she is in heaven. You will be surprised to know that he or she is a hero. Many things the Lord showed me. And sometimes if I sit down, I will be jotting down, or I will tell my husband, I say, see, it's like I've never mentioned this thing. These are some of the things the Lord showed me, and these are some of the things the Lord say. It's an endless story. But the one I can remember, I've put them down here. I will tell you again. Before I go, turn with me to Isaiah for you to believe that God is taking people to see the fearful things happening in hell. Isaiah chapter 66. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 24. 
and they shall go forth and look upon the carcass of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be abhorring unto all flesh. They shall go. It making us to know that there are people that will go and see. As daddy preached a time like this, he said, maybe in heaven one will be there. Maybe God can make us to see hell. Maybe God can choose to show us hell so that we'll fear him more when we're in heaven. He was just talking out his own human uh, thought. The Bible says it here. And I'm part of those people. I'm privileged in this our generation that the Lord visited me, took me to go and see forth upon the carcass of the men that have transgressed against him. The Lord showed me their horrible pits, terrible place they are living now. It's a place that when you see it, you fear to become a pastor or a leader. You will not check yourself. Is it true I was called by God? You will fear God. You will fear the house of God. You will now know that to be a leader is not an easy thing. It is not for pride. It is not for money. It is not for riches. Much is given. Much is expected. Pastors and leaders in the church, those that are living in sin, if you are a pastor here or a pastor wife or a leader in the church, you think that opening a church, you are not getting the money, nobody control you. Oh, you are now, you are enjoying, you are now free. If you die in sin, you wish to be a member because your own punishment is like you will see yourself as if you face to face disrespect God. Why my punishment is like this? My second visit with Jesus to hellfire, the Lord Jesus made me to see and heard the pitiful, sorrowful, predicament state of past sinful leaders in all categories in the church that have died. Pastors, reverend, apostles, bishop, archbishop, priests, overseer, deacon, deaconess, elders, evangelists, Prophet, prophetess, shepherd, pope, fathers, reverend, sister, etc. When we enter there, the Lord Jesus said to me, He says, See, my daughter, the Lord Jesus said, Look at these people. They are the ones that are supposed to bring light to the world, to bring salvation to sinners in the world. Turning people from darkness to light, but they, but they, we are the, they, but they, we are used. They use my name and platform to win souls for the devil. The devil that hated them so much, see their hand now, see their glory, see their fame, see their riches, see all the miracles they choose. See all the disobedience that we are doing to my word. See all the hardening of heart towards the truth, towards their sin, towards salvation. See what has profited them now. Some have riches. Some have great fame. Some build and live a big church on earth. But now, even a drop of water, they cannot have. Even a common breeze, a little fresh air, they cannot have it. Some of them cannot stay without AC. Some of them, they live in abroad. Some of them, they are so rich. They have the money, but see them here today. Some of them, their rooms, they, are, they live in mansion, but see them here today. No sleep for years since they enter here. What does it profit them now? I am sending you back to them. The remaining ones on earth that they call themselves preachers of the gospel. I'm expecting much from them. Any pastor, any preacher of the world that believe in me, Jesus, should follow my footstep. My footstep is to turn people from darkness to light. 
in my time on the earth all the disciples i have encountered with they have encountered with me i remove them from sin open their eyes turn them from darkness to light all the people that have have encounter with me my word is go and remove sinners so go and warn the polluted pastors on earth i will show you and you will hear their confession you will go and warn those that are following the same footstep that their fathers in the lord or the spirit has deceived them so that they will learn and repent now because their own punishment is greater at the end, they will be with the devil in the bottomless pit where the suffering is starting to hell on top, under. The Lord make me to see. The Lord says, see. The Lord points, see. I was not seeing anybody. I had voices. People cover with fire. People cover with fire. A deep pit, a dark pit. I am hearing voices, but the Lord is saying, see them. But I was not seeing them. All I can hear is voices of people. They were crying painfully, yelling, lamenting, regretting, confessing. Even me hearing them, I'm crying with them. Because they are passing through a suffering that any, no human being will imagine to pass through it. No human being will think that somebody will live in that kind of suffering. No matter how heartless you are, when you see the people in hell, you will cry. That's why I used to say some of these bishops and pastors, the Lord is talking about hell, they don't know what they are playing with. They thought that maybe some people, they thought that hell is like prison. Or maybe Satan has deceived you that you will not continue to burn one day the lord will send you out like what the muslim believe the lord will go to hell and bring out some people or hellfire is a place you can be here you can say okay i will enjoy it for it's just for 10 years i want to tell you it is a place that by the grace of god some of you have gotten dreams even me by the grace of god seeing that place i fear i sit down like this if i'm cooking the pot burnt my hand or i mistakenly touch something that is hot those that are with me in the kitchen i will say god please i don't want to go to hell i don't want to go to hell please save me i cannot even hold my own cooking pot when it's hot for a second not to talk about me being standing inside the fire like swimming in the pool for years for for eternity and the fire give life there is life in the fire don't think of death if you go to hell just know that your own is finished as they were crying lamenting confessing in a pitiful way you will pity them i look at the lord in my heart like if if i was like if i'm god i will show these people i will send them back because they are suffering they are suffering when the lord sent me back to the wall when i'm seeing the stubbornness of men i say no wonder god is not touched again but when you are in hell you will think that god is wicked oh god you have power please save these people now please forgive them but when you come to this world and see people here in this thing they laugh at it they continue to sing some pastors they they sit with satan eat discuss they go to the sea sleep with the queen of the coast come to the poopy use the name of jesus and say they are they are preaching for jesus they are mocking god to the point that they are they are doing evil sometimes when you see this thing you say no wonder that no matter the cry they are doing in hell god is not touched anymore so you that you are alive all this hardening where you are hiding your heart you are training yourself not to believe you are training yourself because of shame there are some pastors because of shame how can i stand before my congregation say that i did this i did this ah the lord will show, the lord will understand it's when you go to hell you know that the god did not understand in hell fire those that are there they will tell you when you join them that here there is no language of understanding 
The only place God understands is when you confess. The Lord did not understand the language of sin. You are hiding sin. Who is greater than God? Who is that man that will make you to fear to confess your sin? Fire cover them. And you will hear them crying. Lord, have mercy on us. The voices are many. Who is shouting fire all over the place? I was shaking. I was afraid. I fear God. I want you to fear God today. This God you are playing with, I want you to just sit down and be trembling. When you think of God, just shake. Those ones that have died, they are, they are not regretting. They were confessing their sin. Some were calling people names that deceived them on earth. And they are saying, it will not be well with them. They must come here. They are calling people names. Different people. Different names of people. Maybe the person that initiated them, or the person that misled them, or the person they were working for me, I don't know. They will be calling. The Lord will be telling me, these are people living on earth. But they are the ones that deceived them and they are now here. They are wishing. Even my own friend was saying it before my eyes that I wish my father to come here. Was begging the Lord as a prayer. Please, bring my father to this place. Because the father is a reverend and the father did not train them the way of God. He said the father was the one even giving them money to go to, 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 to party, dressing, making them to, giving them money to dress the way they want, spoil them in riches because the father had the money. So now she is telling the Lord, please, if you cannot remove me again from this hellfire, but let my father come here. Because the father that, that studied the Bible, that know the truth, was not the one training the children the way they should grow. Some of you, your children are rotting under your hand and you are still laughing with them. They will be praying for you to go to hell if any one of them die now. The pastors, they were crying. Fire covered them. With all their strength, they were shouting for mercy. You know that this person is sincerely asking for mercy. The person is shouting all above his voice. Lord, trust me, I will repent. I must hear me. You will know that this person, if they remove him or her there, that person will be, he will not sin again. Nothing sin. He will not even associate himself with anybody that wants to make him or her to sin. Then the Lord make me to see because fire was covering them the lord says see their state see their looks see the benefit they they thought they are they are in you think you are rich you are pushing money some of you you refuse to preach holiness because you are looking for crowd the crowd will give you fame the crowd will lift you up you are a big pastor. I have 2,000, 1 million congregation. Competition of building auditorium now to tell you who have the biggest congregation. That is their pride. The Lord now says, see, see them now. When you see any one of them now, even the poorest man in the village that have not eaten for how many months is more better than them. A woman will prefer to marry that kind of man than marry this person you are going to see. They have been burnt, rotten, smelling. You don't know who is a white man there, a white bishop, a black bishop. You don't know who is a, a president there again, president of Social Association of Christian. You don't know who is the great evangelist there again. You cannot know who is who again. All you know, they look like human beings, but they have been born. You cannot recognize anyone. Only the Lord Jesus know who is this person, who is this person, who is this person. This person is his name like this. But you, the individual, you will just be surprised at God. Somebody has burnt like this. Somebody flesh is removing. Somebody eyes all have come out. Somebody is only the teeth. You see the face has burnt. Every part, the skull is open. But the person is still asking for mercy. Your mind will be like, God, which mystery am I seeing in my eyes? A skull is talking. A person that have burnt all the party, the body is dropping like leather. The person is still saying mercy. Mercy for what? What can you come and do? 
with this kind of bond you are don't even have eye again you don't have tummy again fire is coming out of your belly but what are you still saying god show me mercy for i want you to fear god today even when the person are born to that state the person is still saying lord please show me mercy bring me out of this place because the person is still living when the lord did his hand like this the fire was open like cotton like when you roll something for somebody to see and now saw the deep pit the iron very deep i don't is it thousand i would say or millions of them choking themselves struggling they said you will see hands you will see people crying you will see you will see them rolling you don't know how many of them are there you see countless numbers of people burnt rolling shouting trying to come out nowhere they have been burnt in that deep pit smelly place the fire is like the door the fire cover them the fire is the door for them they are burning inside fire is under their feet fire is from their side fire is from their back fire is on top of their head every angle is they are burning they are regretting the day they become a pastor and choose the wrong way they are regretting why they choose the pleasure of the world why they choose the pleasure they are regretting their lives nobody is laughing in hell nobody is wishing to stay there for one minute if the lord give you opportunity to open your ears to hell your ear won't the, the ear that you are here you will become deaf because people are shouting with all their voice and power to be saved to ask god for mercy some of their statements that we are saying it's like when you enter a prison everybody is begging please save me save me like a president or governor go to the prison everybody is saying their own oh, show me mercy you will not know which one but you will hear people talking this is how it happened different confession and different type of pleading people are talking on themselves as if they are mad the confession they did not do on earth to say that we are a witch truly i was a witch truly i was a pastor but i was a wizard truly i was this the, the confession they refused to confess the evil they did to their church members they did to their family members their neighbors the shame that they were covering now they don't even ask them confess or not they are confessing now thinking that they now let's confess maybe god will show them mercy. they are confusing here the confession is every day now they are repeating it like a song now i was a wizard yes i know lord i am a wizard jesus i am a wizard i confess now i'm not ashamed again lord i am a wizard somebody hear me i am a wizard they are doing it now in hell like that no shame again the fire is burning there that they don't know what to do is it because of a witch is it because i was a wizard hey god i am ready to confess they have seen the powerless power in satan working for the devil now they are crying is it witches shouting and eating their own flesh food no food in hell they are biting themselves biting themselves i am a witch i am a witch i will confess i have confessed lord i've been confessing for years i am a witch i'm not ashamed again but some of you are still sitting on it you will you will eat your own flesh i will tell you what the lord say about his coming satan have deceived you thinking that when the lord come when they go you people will take over the world satan is just deceiving you jesus we fear you now this is their statement it's not they are fearing god some of you pastor you don't fear god you play with god you fear abalis more than god you fear juju power more than god you fear satan more than god but now in hell they are shouting we fear you jesus we fear you now we refresh you now our eyes are open oh god we fear you jesus we fear you they are stretching their hands looking god on top the lord was looking at them like this they are stretching like their body should become elastic to touch him on top of the hair where he was standing looking at them 
they are telling the Lord, we fear you now. Jesus, we fear you now. Now we have known you. you are the only powerful God. We will not fear Satan again. We will not work for the devil again. Jesus, we fear you now. The Lord look at me. It is too late for them. It is too late for them. All this I'm showing you, my daughter, is for you to go and want the hardy one too. I'm the one that created man. I know how to humble them. He's the living father. When you disobey him, he will not discipline you. Hellfire is waiting for you. You are working with charm. You are deceiving people because of money, giving them false revelation, prophecy. You are a spiritual and robber. You will hear them. Many of them confessing different atrocities that we are doing in the church. You will never believe a pastor that will be open Bible, be preaching, can plan evil towards his fellow brethren. My name is Pastor Emmanuel, God's power. I am from Ebony State, eastern part of Nigeria. I want to use this opportunity to confess how Satan used me and the other ministers of God this time around. I decided to open my own ministry. I went to my master to tell him that I want to open my own ministry. The name of my ministry is Jesus the Ark of Love Ministry. He told me to go back and get myself prepared that we are going on a journey. The first place we went to is Calabar. When we reached to Calabar, they killed dog and put the blood inside my eye and I bathed with the blood of the dog. From that Calabar, we went to Ijabode, where I swallowed seven eggs. That is why, whatever I said with my mouth, people will accept it and do it. From that Ijabode, we went to where they call temple in Lagos. In that temple, they told me to remove my cloth, which I did. They gave me red cloth to wear, in order to be in uniform with them. They did all incantation and evocation. After that, they stand me before the mirror. In that mirror, I saw myself half and half. Then I asked my friend, what is the meaning of this? And my friend told me, now I am half of human being and half of spirit. And they told me to say whatever I want to be happening in my ministry to that mirror. Then I started saying it. After all said and done, warning came out from that mirror. And they told me to wear it on my left hand finger, which I did. And they told me that it's only me and the members of this temple can see this ring whenever I wear it. The first thing I did in that my ministry, I called some of pastors from that our society. We took ram and go to my ministry one night and buried it alive in my altar. And also we buried pigeon, salt and sugar in the entrance of that my ministry. My wife was in labor and they took her to the hospital to deliver. During the delivery, my wife died in the hospital with my baby. Now when the message reached me and my members, we are rejoicing and start shaking hands. And they told me, now I'm a man. I have workers who are working under me. They are hoping that one day they will have their own ministry without knowing that they have collected their destiny. I mix oil with the rain and water and give them in the name of holy water. So whenever the man hear my name in his family, he will give me a chance to come into his family and do whatever I like with his wife. Then he becomes zombie in his family. You are calling them my children in the Lord. You are busy slaughtering them in the kingdom of darkness for retaining your own life. They are crying now. Pastors are running to you. Oh, Papa, we want to get your anointing. You are busy initiating them. And you say you are a man of God. Very soon, you will see the end. I pity the young pastors. I pity the young pastors that are busy going up and down. Looking for anointing. Daddy preached it yesterday. Many are crying. Anointing have not saved them. Many are crying. They continue. I was in great tears. I said, God, show mercy. The Lord that make me to know that my daughter heard their confession. Because that is what was playing in my heart. The Lord, you don't need to open mouth and speak. The Lord know what you are saying. In my heart, I say, God, show them mercy. Send them back to the world. Please. I was, tears is running. But my heart, I cannot speak. I cannot speak so that I will not offend God. There, Maybe my wife will offend. I say, you to join them. I 
was saying it in my heart. I'm pitying them. But it's God. He's looking at them. They continue. Lord, I will not be ashamed again. Jesus, I will not be ashamed again. Jesus, everybody. Jesus, 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 Jesus. The name that you are ashamed to call. The name that you have compromised because of money. The name that Satan will tell you, never use the name of Jesus in your church again. There are many pastors. You think we don't know. You are fear to call the name of Jesus. The way you are even calling it is another way you are calling it. Many of you, the God of my father, the God, the God, the God. You have your own God. They were confessing their sin. Some just because of pride. Some will be shouting, it's because of pride. Oh, I finish. Pride, I finish me. I was just because of pride. Nothing again, it's only pride. They are crying because of pride. They are confessing the judgment God gave them in hell. Because of shame. Because of fame. Because of reputation. That is what many pastors are killing themselves for. Reputation, fame. They want to associate themselves with big, great pastors so that they will see them. If you know where this fame that God did not give you, you force yourself to do, to have. If you know where you will land you, you will become a, a, a village pastor that nobody knows you and you are preaching that much, but in holiness and righteousness. If you want to travel to America, to this, the Lord did not send you yet. Your time has not come yet. You force it and go and join those big pastors that you see them riding up and down. Lay hands on you. Making them your mentor. Feeling firm. I want to be your son in the Lord. Adopt me, Father. Adopt me. You are taking your sonship from God and giving to man to adopt you. And many are crying today in hell. You say God call you, you cannot go to God, you are going to pastor for fame. Is it the pastors that give fame? They start crying because of ego, because of wickedness, because of secrecy. See me now here. Some are saying, I never knew I would die. The devil told me I will live for more than how many years. It is a miracle. I must you me. Oh, I you me. Jesus, how much you me? Satan deceived me. Lord, I was deceived by my friend. I was deceived by my overseer. I was deceived by my bishop. I was deceived by my social activities. I was deceived by my members. They pushed me. Lord, save me down. Confession in all algo. People are confessing every time. The confession is too much. My ears. Sin that you never thought a man can do. Somebody will be confessing. Lord, I confess. I was sleeping with the queen of the coast. She was my wife. God, I confess it now. I will repent. How can a human being be sleeping with queen of the coast? Human being. Going to the sea, sleep with evil. Sleep with animal. Eating shit for power. Confession you will never believe you can hear. You will hear it in hell. Man is terrible. There are some things you will never believe a mad, even a madman will not do that. I've not seen it all. Maybe they used to do it. Madman eating raw shit. But you see pastors, because of power, they are eating shit. Raw shit. That is their food now. Even when Satan is punishing you, you don't have common sense that this kind of law is punishment. But all you want is people to follow you, people to gather. These people you are gathering them, they will be the one to dance behind you to go and drop your body in the, in the ground. They were confessing. I have secret sin. I was a secret smoker. Some of these pastors, they smoke secretly. I was a secret drunker, womanizer, fornicator, cultist, 
wizard, witch, prostitute, married women. They are married to their husband. They still go around with those small boys in the church. When they know that their husband is not there or whatever, thing, they admire this small boy, they go and mess up with them. And they sit again and call themselves mama in the church. They are prostitutes. They are dressing as attractive men. When God is sending what people are arguing with it, some of you pastors, you are even the one telling your wife, the day you will remove this dread, you will hear me. Some of you, it's your wife that is telling you, don't even try to preach that preaching in that church. Oh, because me, I will not change. I will, in fact, I will pack and leave. You fear your wife and you stop it. There is a bishop in our church, in our country. When he heard the testimony of Sister Linda, the Lord sent me to him. He said, for him, it was like that. He believed in holiness. That, huh, can I preach this because of my wife, Patricia? Because the wife will not allow him to preach. And the wife stopped him not to preach. Preach this thing. He said, don't even try to think about it one day to, to tell the members in the church to follow that kind of revelation. Your wives are the one control. Because your wife like a earring, makeup, attachment, trousers, naked dressing, short dressing, polished nails, eyelash. She like doing those things. And she will threaten you the day you will preach that thing against it. You will never see my part again. You, I will never sleep. I will leave this out. You trade God. You trade your soul because of sex, because of wife. Many are crying now because they have died, left the wife on earth. And they, they are suffering in hell. Many are crying now. Some were saying they established false doctrine on earth doctrine that will please their flesh they are the confession confession lord i created false doctrine i established false doctrine i empower false doctrine i did it deliberately to come to fill my flesh to suit myself lord send me back let me go and confess how many people have been following that false doctrine today how many people How many people? Some were shouting. They were sleeping with the orphans in the church, the widows, Lord, the young women, the boys, even sleep with boys. Homosexuality in the church. Before I help them, I was I don't help my members free, I must use them. I can't help young people free, widows free. I must sleep with them. The Lord make me to be here so that me too, my heart became so hard and I say, wicked people. How can you be doing this? Some are busy killing their members. Say, Lord, I was using them for rituals. Lord, have mercy on me now. You have killed many unprepared souls. They are crying here. Because when they say you want power, bring every day, every month, or every time, as you, you, you should bring blood. You have thousands of members. You have their tight card. You have their name. They are coming with pictures, so you drop it on your table. Papa, pray for us. You will just carry one of the pictures and say, kill this one. Carry their names. Okay, this one. Kill this one. This youth. Destroy this one. They will die. You, you know you are the one killing them. This is what they were telling God. When I was hearing these things, I said, hey. So it is not the mercy these people are shouting we, we, and pitying them. So they are terrible people like this. So these people are so wicked like this. But still I was pitying them because their state is terrible. Their state is terrible. They were crying. They were crying bitterly. I am a liar. I deceive many. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I use your name to, to rob people. I will give them lying words, say the Lord, say, Lord, I was using your name. I trade your name. I was using your name. Jesus, have mercy on me. 
You are looking human being. Say the Lord said when the Lord did not say, I had a voice. You did not hear anything. You did not see nobody to play with. His name is God. The Lord is speaking to me now. Somebody is here, you have money. The Lord said in your family, this, 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 this. This is how a pastor lied to me. I carry my television, go and give him. If the Lord was the one that say, I should have ripped it again. Lies. And some of you are doing it. Going home to home, house to house, village to village, neighborhood to neighborhood. Standing there, you are giving, bringing the good news to them. When they finish, they give you offering. You know you like it because you know that ah, this work I'm doing, I'm getting money. Anywhere I go, people will pray, will give offering. It's because of the offering you are busy. Your mind is not winning soul again. It's for the offering. From bus stop to another bus stop. You are inside different buses. You are busy selling material. It's the money you are making. That's why you are, be, you are not preaching, doing evangelism with your heart for soul winning. You are doing it because of the material you are selling, because of the money you are getting. People become, when, you, when the boss wants to stop, you want to come there. They will say, let's pray, let's take offering for the work of God. People will give you, that's, that is what you like. And some of them are dying in accident like that, they are entering hell. There are different type of people in hell. Different type of preachers. Great and small. Even some people, nobody knows them. Maybe their members is just 10 members, 15 members, 20 members. But they were doing corruption, evil practice. Now they are in hell. Some, nobody knows them. I was saying yesterday when daddy was preaching, I said, ha, huh, some of you can never travel to abroad till Jesus come. Some of you will never have out to 10 million in your hour, 50 million. Some of you will never have riches. Some of you, your members will never cross more than 1,000. And you will suffer, suffer like this. You will not hold on to holiness and go and enjoy heaven. You will suffer like this. Suffering in Africa and go and suffer again here. You want to go and suffer again here. With the suffering you are suffering now, the best thing you should do now, let me turn to Jesus now. So let the suffering continue because I know if I die now, I'm going to rest. I will not suffer again. But you are busy suffering and the suffering is pushing you and you are adding suffering. You are putting sin in the suffering and you die. Your suffering continues. Are you not pitying your soul? Some of these big bishops, they have enjoyed their heaven already. This is their heaven. Have jets, billions of dollars, traveling abroad. They have money. Anything they want, they do, they eat any kind of thing. So if they, they go to hell, they, they know that they deserve it because they have finished their evil. But you, you don't have anything. Nothing you have. Suffering. Please repent today. Turn that church for Christ. Don't suffer. Don't look at the members. Don't bother about them. Oh. Suffer for Christ and go and enjoy in heaven. I told God, all this persecution people are giving me, all this name, they are lying on Sister Linda, giving me all kind of name, all the marine name they have on the sea, they have given to me. Lord, you will not allow me to suffer this, suffer, then go to hell again. I will be here. They then be calling me any kind of name. But Jesus, give me heaven. So that I will go and rest. But you, with all this suffering, you are still holding your heart with, with, with unforgiveness, with secret sin, with evil, with doubting, you don't want to preach only because of your small membership. They continue like this. They are shouting, asking God for mercy. They are telling the Lord. They were disverging these virgins in the church for rituals. They were preaching, talking different things. Some say they were preaching holiness. But they found them guilty of pride, of anger, of evil conversation, of covetousness. I mind them, the holy preachers, holiness preachers. Some of them, they are, they are holiness preachers, but they are in hell. Because of little foxes in their life. Not that they were bowing to Satan. They preach the truth. They know the truth. But the Lord judged them because some of them were only preachers and hearers, but they were not doers of the word. They will tell people, don't have anger, but them, the preacher, they have anger. They will tell the people, don't eat God money the way you're not supposed to do. They are the one using it. Nobody is asking them. They will use it anyhow. No members should challenge them. They will tell you, I'm the leader. You think you, you are in heaven now. They are your kind. The Lord did it in the way that every 
kind of preachers in all categories, your representative is in hell. Because you have the Pope there, you have the Archbishop, the, this, the Lord was calling names. He said, these are your people on earth. These are your leaders. He was calling. He said, any leadership name you know, they are here. Apostle, Reverend. He said, see them here. See them here. Go and warn those ones that are thinking that being an apostle, a bishop, a pastor, that is a certificate that have taken them to heaven. Go and tell them their colleagues that have big title more than them, they are here. To tell you that you have no escape to be a pastor, I'm a pastor. Nobody should control me. Nobody should ask me how I spend the, the money in the, in the ministry. Nobody should ask you. Nobody to vet you. The people should not ask you. You will go and confess it in hell. They are there. They are there. I was shocked to know that. Pastors that will respect them on earth. We fear them. When they are passing, we bow our head. We worship them that God. I was seeing these people. Anybody that is a pastor, they say he's a bishop, he's a pope. I say, ha, huh, these people are lucky because heaven is their own. Jesus have, is using them. I never know that some of them their own is for hellfire. They continue to confess their sins. Saying they are cultists. Some, some were saying that they were not paying tight. They don't pay tight. They don't support the house of God. They, feel, they, they look at self, themselves as if they are big orgas, big madams. It's only the members should be contributing. When they talk about contribution, they talk about anything in the church, it's the members that should do it. For them, they don't do it. The Lord was judging them. The members, they were contributing because they, were, they want to please me to make heaven. You, you say you were not contributing. They don't pay tight. They don't do anything. No support to the house of God. Because they are the leaders. You will regret it all. You will regret it. You leave the members to do the work of God. You leave the members to suffer. You leave the members to do evangelism. When they say evangelism, you don't see the leaders. You only see the members. When they say prayer time, you don't see the leaders. It's only the members. When they say all night, you don't see the leaders. They are sleeping. The members are praying. You will reap it. All this exercise they are doing is for them to go to heaven. You, you say you are in heaven. Go and see them in hell. They are there. They are there. They were confessing. Confessing terrible things. And then the Lord Jesus, make me to speak to one of them. A great pastor in our country. They call it Bishop Manny. He's a pastor that if you ask a Sierra Leonean that have been in Sierra Leone doing before the war, they will tell you. A pastor that will do signs and wonders like this. People we are trooping to our country in Sierra Leone. Like how people are trooping into Nigeria because of TB Joshua and other pastors. Doing great signs and wonders. People we are, if he's holding his, 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 his Sunday service, that road, you know that today we are not using that road. Even the transport people know that today this road, we can't use this road. They have to be using another bypass because the church have blocked the road. Crowd of people making names. Other pastors were jealous of him. Other pastors troop to him. Papa, give me this anointing. You know some of you don't have contentment. You don't have content mind. Anywhere you hear, Papa, you don't pray and say, God, this place, God, who is this man of God? God, you just troop because of power, because of signs and wonder. This is how many when the churches became grow big, branches. Just just few times, pastors were everywhere. You have pastors everywhere. When he want to die, he felt sick. He said the Lord told him. Everybody, the Lord said. The Lord told him that he's going to take him for three days. He's bringing him back to life. He's going to die and resurrect again in three days. Everywhere was hot. Everybody, hey, power. He said God is going to have time within three days and hard power. The news was everywhere. The members, they were dancing, singing. The great Messiah is coming back. He died. Three days, nothing happened. Take him to mortuary. One week, nothing happened. They said they should not give the body any kind of prevention or whatever to keep him safe. Until the mortuary people call her and say, it cannot pass this or else you start decaying. Either you people should come and take, it, take him in this place or what? The father was a colonel, the, the pastor father. 
went there and took the son body and then they buried this man. People were still believing that he would come back to life. When I went, when the Lord Jesus took me to hell, the Lord was giving me a message to those pastors in our country and to the world. The Lord made me to see because people in Seattle, many believe in him and see him as a great pastor, open and believe. Up to now, the church is still flowing at that time. The Lord made me to see him. Even me seeing him, I was shocked. Because this person did miracle to the point that he was disappearing and appearing. If you want to go to a meeting now, you don't use Sky again, you will appear where they invite him as he's giving a testimony. When the Lord showed me him, I didn't know that he was the one who, because he had been born, I can't recognize him. It's when he was talking to the Lord, begging the Lord, confessing his sin, telling the Lord, I deceived them. It was Satan that gave me the power. I entered contact with the devil. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, show me mercy. Then the Lord now say, send a word to your people you have deceived on earth, my children. He now was talking that please, they should tell the people that are inside his church, burning bush, that they should break the altar because he has buried human beings, plenty things on the altar, that they should cancel that church. That church, the foundation is from Satan. He came in contact with Satan. He Satan has sent him and said, I will make you great and give you power. He was not called by God. He never knew God. That all the power he was using is from Satan. His hand when he's laying it on people, miracle take place. The blind will see, cripple walk. Yes, he said, but the power was coming from Satan. So all those people, he have done those miracles on. Please, they should go to the church that Jesus would recommend. That they should do deliverance because he have dedicated them to the devil. Some of you, you are walking with a mark that Satan knows that you are for him. Just wait. Wait up to... Uh, come now, you will know you will not go. You know you will not go because their mark is with you. Because different way you go lay hands, lay hands. There are many people have lay hands on you. You don't even know how many people. He said the miracle take place. Yes, it took place in their life. The blind will see, the lame will walk. He will do signs and wonder. But because the power comes from Satan, the people now belong to Satan. Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. When he said burning bush. The Lord now say, tell her your name, prophet, bishop, money. My mouth open like this. This pastor that we think that he and Jesus, they are best of friends. Jesus Christ is Lord. When I say it, some of their members, as usual, you know, they want to kill Sister Linda. Some run for their life. Some confess it. Some were saying yes, something like that. Even evil power will betray them. But some remain and say it's a lie. Their papa is in heaven. Because he has deceived them. And now he's regretting his stand. He don't know what to do. Confessing, but it is too late. He has deceived many. The Lord now said, go and warn them. After the Lord finished showing me all these things, they are reeling and crying calling their name, Jesus, I work for you. Jesus, I serve you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, I will work for you now. Jesus, I will go and confess my sin. Jesus, I will tell my people the truth now. Jesus, I have known everything. The Lord turned his back and told them it's too late. The fire covered them again. Like a door. They started shouting. Shout! Team, shouting when the Lord says it's too late. When the fire cover, it's like they add more acid to them. Because the way they were shouting, it's like the time the Lord says it's too late. Like the fire increase in percentage in heat, death, in hot, in painfulness. The fire increasing because the way they were shouting, No! Don't leave us here! I pass you! Jesus! The Lord turned to me and said, Let us go. I said, God, I was here please, Jesus. In my heart, I was yelling. I said, God, I look at him. I said, God, 
who will believe me? This thing I'm seeing is beyond my own imagination. Even me see this thing, I cannot imagine it. God, what will I do? The Lord said to me, the reason why I'm showing you this is to go and warn my children. Many are sleeping. Many are under their raw pastor. Many are walking in vain. Many shepherds are out of my way. Many are using my platform in my name. And but they are walking and sending soul to the devil. I created them to work for me. They are working for Satan. I cry. I cry. The Lord is living here. He's turning his back away from there. They were crying. Children, children, they were crying. Young women are crying. Young men are crying. Youths are crying. Pastors are crying. The Lord was turning his back away from them. The only person that can save you, the only Savior that will say, okay, I will save you. When he's turning back away from you, what will you do again? I know these people all has finished. I look at them. The Lord was going. I look at them. I see the flame of fire rolling people, burning people. People are crying. People are begging. People are asking God for mercy. The world did not know what is happening. The world did not know what is happening. As I'm talking to you, the yelling of people, the crying of people, your church member that have died, your sister that have died, your wife that have died, your husband that have died, before knowing this truth, I want you to hear his voice calling your name your pastors, your bishop your members under you that you refuse to tell them the truth your neighbors that you are deceiving them as a Christian you are not telling the truth they are crying with your name they are crying I look at them I turn I look behind my friend is inside that fire my mother is inside this fire. What am I going to do? I look at the fire. A child is inside this fire. Little children are inside this fire. People are crying inside this fire. What can I do? I was yelling in my heart. I was yelling in my heart. The Lord know what I was passing through. The Lord look at me and say, Go and save those ones now on earth. Whatever thing you are seeing here. Whatever thing I'm going to say to you here, go and deliver it. Don't fear anyone. Go and deliver it. My sheep hear my voice. I was crying. I said, Jesus, will they believe me? Jesus, how will I save them? Because as the time they enter here, the Lord told me, you see the crowd of people that follow you. Every day, this is how People troop into hell as if I created hell for them. And churches are everywhere in the world. Every day they are, in, they are ordaining new churches. But people are trooping into hell as if there is no shepherds on earth. The Lord said the way people are trooping to hell is like shepherds are not on earth again. Pastors are not on earth again. What is happening on the earth? That's why he has taken his work on his earth. The Lord took me to a place. And then I was shocked again to see this one. Because the Lord don't want me to have that impression as if he's a wicked God. The Lord don't want me to judge him in, his, in my heart. That God with all these terrible things you are seeing. Pity them now. The Lord wants me to see the wickedness man is doing. I know maybe that is why the Lord took me to this other place. The Lord carried me to a place. I saw a long conference table. People sitting down. Human beings sitting down. And I saw a man sitting. He would, you will not say Satan have horn. You will not disguise Satan as he have horn all the time or tail all the time. No. Sitting down as an intelligent deceiver. Sitting with them. Then the Lord Jesus said to me, this is Lucifer. The people he's sitting down with, these are my creation. The people he's sitting down with, these are leaders of the world. 
they are now consulting Satan how to rule the world, how to control my house. They are taking counsel from the devil. The Lord shed tears. He pays him. He pays Jesus. He really paid him. I know what the Lord was thinking. After dying for man, after creating man, man will still go and sit with the devil. It's like he's dying is in vain. That's why we in Oremore. I say, God, give us grace. We will make the devil to regret why he's sinning against you. I say, God, in the name of Jesus, unless you kill me, but whatever thing you have shown me or say, I will say it. The people deliver. The Lord was crying. The Lord was showing me leaders of the church sitting with the devil. Business people sitting with the devil. All these superstars you call a celebrity sitting with the devil. All these governors, all these rulers of the world, presidents sitting with the devil. All these big people that you think they, 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 are, they are doing the good for the people. They are taking counsel from Satan. That's why the world is moving in the way of the devil. Sin is multiplying every day. Then the Lord showed me. I saw a congregation of people standing in their numbers, in their thousands. Both men and women. As they are standing there. The Lord showed me some of them were carrying gallons. In their hand, put it by their side. Others we are wearing different attire from the others I saw. Then the Lord now said, Then I asked the Lord, Who are these people? He said, These are leaders that call themselves preachers all over the world. But this is their meeting place to get power from the devil. They are here to meet their, 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 their Lord, which is the devil. I saw white people, black, Chinese, all kinds of races. So some of you that you are saying, these white people, you admire them. Can God judge them? You are saying that some of them are with the devil too. Standing. All kind of races you call. And as they were standing there, I saw two demons pushing something like a box. Fearful demons pushing it. As they push it like this. Then I saw Satan sitting on the chair. And as you see, Satan can change to different things. Animal, human being, all this kind of thing. This one he was sitting down was terrible. Sitting down there, human face, different type of body, sitting there. And as he was sitting there, he would just beckon on the demon like this. When the demon came, those gallons that is that standing by the pastors, then I now told the Lord Jesus, Please, I want to know all what is happening here so that I will explain exactly as I've seen it. The Lord now say, this gallon you are seeing, what is inside is blood. The people they have killed, their blood, they are coming to donate it to have more power. Pastors, let me tell you, you are busy saying Boko Haram people are killing, they are killing, yes, they are killing. But if the Lord open your eye to know the kind of killing that is going on in the church, you will surprise. Some of the pastors are killing more than the Boko Haram. Killing their family members for money, killing their church members, killing their neighbor people, anybody they will slaughter in, in secret society, evil. Donating it to the devil, the blood they have wasted. Then I now ask, who are these other ones? This costume is different from this. He said, these are new initiates they are bringing. Then the Lord look at me and say, go and warn my young pastors that are coming up. I call them. They should look to me for anything they want. See this one now. Because they look up to these ones that they think they have the money. See now, they are bringing them to show them the source of the money. This is where they have carried them now today. As they were there, the, 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 the Lord now make me to see another box the devil brought. The devil brought a, a bloody something, substance, and give it to all of them, plus, plus the new ones that came. 
They were drinking it. They would drink and pass it. Drink and pass it. They would drink and pass it. When they finished, they started speaking evil tongues. I don't know the tongues they were speaking. I cannot hear the language again. Then I now asked, when they finished drinking, they carry some, wash their face. Then I said, Lord, why are they drinking this bloody thing? Why are they washing their face with this dirty water mixed with blood? The Lord now say, you hear this language they are speaking. This is the evil tongues that is circulating all over. This is the evil tongue. Not all tongues are of, of the Holy Spirit. That is the speaking tongues. That when they want to pray, they will start speaking these tongues. You will think they are speaking tongues. They are invoking the power of the devil. This tongue is a language of the devil. They are speaking. They are, they are calling on their demonic power to come and help them to do their work. That's why they will be speaking this tongue, invoking the spirit. But you, you will be thinking it's a, evil, it's, a, it's a Holy Spirit tongue. He said, this one, they wash their face. is for them to see deeper things, to see secret things. Satan is giving them evil eyes to see, to prophesy. This is the deception that the devil has taken over the church. For morning to night, they keep my children on prophecy. No word of God, no fear of God, nothing that will make them to fear me. Then I saw the devil start giving them different kind of things to all of them, both the women and the men that were standing there. And was telling them, go and bring them. Go and deceive them. Satan will be laughing. When Satan laughs, he raises his mouth up to mock God. He will laugh and hit his chest like this. And say, deceive the world. Bring them. And these pastors, they call themselves pastors, will be hailing G Satan. They will be hailing him like this. And say, we will go. He started giving them. That is when I came to know. I didn't need to know that all these things they are giving in the church were sinful. It's from them I came to know all this handkerchief. I look at God. So this thing, because even me, the before I have my encounter, I have the many in my house. Is it oil? Is it handkerchief? Is it powder? Is it what? Candle, different candle. Burn it as it's burning till the night, till the candle goes, and this is your problem will finish. Everywhere, candle, candle. We have them. I never knew these things are satanic. But when I was seeing Satan will remove this one, give it to this one for power, go and add to it. Take candle, give to this one. Take water, give to this one. Giving them salt, giving them powder, giving them perfume, giving them makeup. All this we want. Some of the pastors that are telling you that it doesn't matter. Satan will tell them, tell your members, force them to wear it. Because it's my property. They know it's satanic property. Some of the pastors they know. He was busy giving them the property, makeup, the women that were in the witchcraft coven with the devil, taking them makeup. That's why when their pastor's wife will paint their face, the member will be admiring, ah, mama, me too, I'll put it on. They are advertising the property of Satan. They are prostitutes. Satan was busy giving them, even to food item we eat. Then I look at the Lord. I say, God, these food items, so I should go and tell the people in the world they should not eat these things. Some of this, this thing, red oil and whatever to mix with blood. Terrible things. These toys that we used to buy for our children, satanic toys, the devil was giving them. Business people, different category of people standing before it, give them different business. All this, this fashion, this naked dressing that you are saying new fashion, Satan is the one bringing the idea to the, to the people to design this naked dressing. Satan knows that God hates nakedness. That's why any new fashion that is coming out, very soon you will see women walking in the street naked. It's a fashion. One part will be covered, the other side is naked. They have started doing it now. And they will make sure that the musician, the actor, the actress, they will start dressing like that. You see, this is, this is what is happening in the church. These are the bridesmaids now. Satan is designing wedding clothes because now we should a pastor. You can see this is inside the church. A bridal dress, lady sitting like this, short skirt. It's a fashion. She bought it in the market. Somebody going to church, a married woman, sleeveless. These are fashions. They advertise it. Christians will see it, they'll do it. All this attachment on our children. They are the fashion. See how a choir, these are choirs, different things they are putting on. Where they call it tear, tear trousers, madness, or whatever. They will be using them and be singing in the church. 
These are designs of the devil. I came to know that this fashion that every year new fashion is Satan that will be sitting with the companies of demons. Evil people, business people, bringing out ideas and they will come and apply it. The, 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 the models, the celebrities that are illuminatic, that are in this thing, they will wear it, wear it like this and come to the air. People now say, oh, new style. This celebrity have brought a new style. The Barbie style, the footballer Barbie style. That's what we are telling our youth. You can't copy the style of the world and say you're a child of God. They will bab here, live here, me do tint it. All these footballers that are bowing to the devil for for, 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 for power, for money, for fame. The devil will tell them, do like this because many people like you. Anything you do, anything you wear on your body, many will follow. Just do like this. It's the devil that gives them the style. And people are following. The church is following. You are a clean church, but when you start seeing other churches using anointing oil, handkerchief, you too went and start giving your members and catch it. Satan is bringing a fashion to pollute this world and you have copied from the fashion. The Lord Jesus turned to me and said, I am not the God of handkerchief. I am not the God of apron. I am not the God of comb, water, all this substance they are giving you people in the church. Putting your hope on them. He say, it pains me when I see my child will be praying to a, a water, will be using and catch it for miracle. I say prayer is the key. All knee must bow to me. Anything they need, they must call upon me. Not them using handkerchief. Rub on your face when you are going for an, for, for interview. Use only pen. When you are writing, miracle will take place. The Lord was angry. Satan has deceived man. You don't pray again. Any little thing you drink, anointing oil. Your stomach is paining you. Give me that anointing oil you drink. Because your faith believe that the power, the anointing oil contain the power of God. And you are busy selling it to your people. Is it cloth? Is it pastor picture? Is it calendar? Is it comb? Pastors, you don't expect them to be doing this practice. They are giving you comb. Comb front, backward. You probably will go. Comb front, prosperity. Who told you is by combing front and back? That prosperity will come. They have joined the devil and you are busy hailing them. You are busy respecting them. They, some of them are walking in their former glory. The Lord has departed from them. Hallelujah. When the Lord showed me all these things and said to me, go and warn the world. Go and tell my children to take away those substances they are giving them. Giving you church ban. Thinking that you are working with the Holy Spirit, the ban is Holy Spirit. Anywhere you go, the ban will, will bring out power to protect you. Putting on apron, anywhere you go, and robber will not touch you, you will disappear. You are a, that simply means you are a magician. Juju practice, practically in the church. They will give you incense, give you rosary, give you candle, give you water. Drop this water for your husband. When he's drinking it, he will start loving you. That is a charm, it's a bewitchment. And people believe. Is that what the Bible says? How to charm our husband? He said we should submit. Our chest conversation will change our unbelieving husband. Our attitude, our behavior. You are not teaching the women like that. You are teaching the dress to kill your husband. Go and bring this anointing, uh, this water. Let it be the water you'll be drinking. Don't allow him to see it. Is it not the same thing Abalis used to say? So pastors, you have to repent today. You have deceived many. You have lied to many. You have deceived many. You go up and down do evangelism. It's for the, for the offering they will give you. You know when they invited you, when you are going, they will put offering inside the inside envelope. Your mind is only for that. Because when you finish preaching, the envelope is coming. Your mind is not to save sinners. Because you will go to a sinful church. You will not preach anything that will make people to repent. You will go and give them deceitful world. You will be prosper. This is your year. I see the devil coming out of somebody. After you finish the clap for you, give him money and go. You say you are winning souls. You are making them more, more deeper in sin. A child of God, anywhere you go, you will know that this child will not invite me again. Because you will rebuke everybody that is there. Including the mama that is a prostitute there. That is a child of God. Correcting the church. The Lord said, go and warn them. Go and tell them. When the Lord was sending me back, I told the Lord, they will not believe me. Jesus, me, my own is, just leave me here. Since you have shown me mercy, I have suffered in hell. Not that I just see hell. I, they torture me. Demon touch me. 
It's like when somebody had a bad dream, say they blow me in my stomach, they hit me on my head. I was crying bitterly in the dream. The thing really pained me. When I woke up, I was crying and I felt the pain. It, this is how it happened to me here. I demon touched my body. Demon, he sat in instrument in my body. Demon pressed iron on my body. Demon punched me, beat me. I was crying till you bring me out of hell. Not that somebody will tell me that I went to hell. I see, I see. Me, I felt the pain. They hit my head. They opened this call. They deal with me. Satan himself confessed that some of this property I was putting on, the property of the devil I was putting on my body. That some of them is his property. All this yari, this makeup, this lipstick, these are his property. All my naked dressing is, is behind it because when I dress naked, men will be lost enough to me. As I'm walking, the people are lost enough to me. Unknown to me, me, I will not know. But I was an agent working for him, unknown to me. Many of your members, you pastor, you are working for Satan, but you don't know. Because you refuse to tell her the truth, you are keeping the people unaware. So you are agents of darkness, but you don't know. It's when the rapture will take place, you will not go there. The Lord will say, I didn't know you. You were working for the devil. You will ask, how? See your members, they are all with you. Nobody is rapturing. Nobody has rapture. So I never knew that my dressing was, I was agent of darkness unknown to me. Because when I wear this nakedness, I make other people to stumble. Me, I did not know. I thought that I'm not dressing as my own normal way. It doesn't matter. I never knew that it matters. So when I told the Lord, nobody will believe me. The Lord Jesus told me, I am sending you to the world. People you don't expect, they will not believe you. But I am going to send you to my ministry. The thing down on me, Jesus has ministry on that. And I've been wasting my time going to all kind of ministry. My mind was like, ah, so Jesus to have his own church that he did not tell us. Because we that like going to different churches, my mind was like, which church now? Which one is his own? Because we go to church believing that Jesus is there, not knowing that Jesus is not some of many of these churches, Jesus is not there. They only use the name church. Then the Lord told me, I am sending you to my son. What is preaching? I'm the one putting the word in his mouth. What the devil has taken from the church, the word that will save a soul that they have been removed from the house of God. I'm replacing it again by putting it in his mouth. When you go, my daughter, if you listen to him and obey what he's telling you and practice it, they look at me and say, you will be there on earth waiting for me. But if you doubt it and you leave it or you run away from me, then I will throw you to that place I pick you for. This time, no mercy. Then I was like, who is his son? Who is his son? He now told me, I have established a movement on earth. The movement is the arc of your generation. This movement is going around to gather the souls together for heaven. Go and join them and you work out your salvation now for me in that movement. The name of the movement is Holiness Revival Movement. I am the owner of the movement. Go and join them. And then he gave me the meaning for me to take serious, for me to take, to take it into consideration, for me to respect this movement. The Lord told me, the name of the movement is Holiness Revival Movement. Holiness is me, the other name of God. I am holy. My name is holy. Reviving God, reviving his people. And I'm moving. I am moving them to heaven. So go and join them. I say, oh, I've never heard about this. So put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord love us. Amen. Some of my interaction with some people, many will testify. I told them even before getting married to Pastor Rica, I used to test on members those days we sit down as sisters and brothers. I told them some will be angry. I say, You see me? 
Even that Dedica will not say I'm the one that preached to Sister Linda that she gave her life to Christ. Even Finda will not say it. Even my former coordinator, Pastor Bimba, will not say it. One day like this, they have never introduced me to Orinus chapter meeting. I didn't, I didn't even know that there's a movement like that. It was Jesus himself that told me about this movement before coming back to this world. And he commanded me to come and join. He did not give me the name of the man in heaven. He said, I have my son on earth. When you go, I will show you. I told Finn that I said, there is a person. They were happy, they are shouting because they know the movement. I was even angry with Finn that you know this movement, you did not tell me. He said, ah, Linda, when I wanted to introduce to you, you as you hear that somebody say, we won, he said, see, you don't give person chance. These are the things I wanted to tell you that time. You stopped me not to play any CD, any message. This is the place I went to in Nigeria 2012. When you people want to carry my coordinator to police. You don't give us chance because that time, if you talk about we won, Yari is a sin. It's like you are putting knife in my I don't stand and listen to any preacher that condemns yelling, dwelling, all this worldliness. I don't allow Finda to play their message. Even to Papa Kumi's message in the house. She will listen to it when I'm not in the house. As soon as I come, I say, remove that CD. Put um, Pastor Chris Oyakilomi. Put Dossi uh, Sulema uh, for me. Let me hear word. Miracle. I will sit down. Balance. Touch the TV as they are praying and they are amen, amen. These are the people I respect in my life that time. You don't talk anything about Chris, Chris you're okay on me. You don't talk anything about, I was, a, I was in winners as a, as a choir in Guinea Conakry. When we went there doing the war, I was there in Winners Chapel. We would dance, sing in the street. I love these people. Until God opened my eyes to know that these people are out of this way. They are sending people to hell. You that you are respected, I'm telling you. If you go to my house those days, I have just a Suleiman CDs like this. When he's lying like this, I guess Sister Linda, my friend say, even if Sister Linda, you don't tell me, I will leave because I know you respect this man. But it's God that showed you this man. And see how this man is lying that he knows you and you call him. Joseph Suleiman, if he's going to our country, he's in convoy. Like president, me, I was a poor girl. How will I go close to him? He telling people that I call him. Papa, God has blessed me. Oh, lie. These people can lie on the pulpit any minute, any hour. No fear of God. So, the Lord Jesus told me about holiness of our moment. I told people, I will not leave her anymore. That time, I don't even think that God was planning me to settle in Nigeria or to marry Pastor Rika. I was seeing myself that this ministry is here, they will, I will die here, they will bury me here. This ministry is God. I was so proud of it. I said, some of you, the reason why little thing you say, I'm going back to my world, I'm going back to my former church, is because you were invited to this place. It's because it was too crusade. Me, my own is Jesus. I said, come and join and Jesus is going to tell me, leave before I leave. But yeah, anybody that do anything to me will settle it here, will fight here, but I will not live anymore. Hallelujah. So, when Jesus said this to me and sent me back, when he finished talking, telling me about Horimor, the meaning of Horimor, I should join them. He said, in a glory I did not understand. An old ancient person was encouraging me, was telling me all what the Lord has said to you. My daughter, warn the world. Tell them we are waiting for them. Tell them we are waiting for them. He too fade away. And then it's like I was at the edge of the world. It's like somebody coming back in a great force. A force that you cannot say I'm only anything. Then all of a sudden, I revived where I was lying down. I saw people running me, my family members. Ah, I call Finda. I say, who is holiness of our movement? Finda say, wait. Pastor Member, come. Something is happening. Pastor Member came. Nobody name is holiness of our movement. It's a movement. I said they should take me there. They say, calm down. Tell us what happened to you. I started talking. Talking. That day it was Friday. Chapter meeting was for Saturday and Sunday. So he now told me that we'll go to the chapter. But he, as a coordinator, want to hear me so that he can tally it. So as I was talking, that particular day, that Friday, 
Before the Lord said go, the Lord showed me, say, look at Satan. In a great force, he's going ahead of you now to plan the ground not to believe. So when I came back to life, I was talking that Friday in my house, it was a talk of war. Different pastors appearing in vision, some like dog, some like animal, telling us, telling me in that vision that you will not say this word. We will not allow you to say this word. In my house, it was a war. I was crying. And one of the mysteries the Lord did to me is that when the Lord will be calling my name, if I'm sitting down, the Lord just said, Linda. It's like my own, it's like somebody is using bomb to shoot behind me. If I'm here, I will jump and fall down there. When I started reading the Bible, I told Pastor Bemba, this voice is too much for me. I cannot hear. I don't want to hear. Because I, Pastor Bemba now begin to show me some things in the Bible. Our former coordinator was telling me, only the voice that God called Saul that became poor, it became the light making to become blind. The people fall down from the horse, only the voice they had. So God is the one talking. Then the Lord now told them to baptize me. When I came to the chapter meeting, we see that after they finish, that was my first time being among holy people that don't wear earring. Even when I came into their midst, it was finger skirt I was I borrow. I don't have skirts. I don't have anything. They tried to check among my clothes to see which one they can manage with me for now. Terrible one. Anyone they remove. Our coordinator said, Jesus. Sister Linda, this kind of, even me, my eyes came to open that. Is it true I was wearing these things? Short, short skirt, split there. I will be looking at this thing say, ah, truly I was putting on this kind of naked, too much nakedness like this. Ah, ah. Thing that you will see a child wear in the city, say, Kai, go and change. Can't you see your, your, your buttons is all showing now? These are the things me, I, I look at my cloth. A woman like me, a big girl like me, I don't have wrapper. I don't have African clothes that can cover my body. I was in, people were coming to look for Sister Linda. They have to close me inside the room because when I bet, I sit down on the, the bed, no clothes for how many hours? They quickly run to the town. To get me quick, quick, okurika, skirt or whatever. They brought to me dress so that people will see this sister Linda. Because I don't have clothes. Finda is slimmer than me and fatter than her. A cloth, I want to put her in the cloth with tear. So I was just sitting in the room waiting for them to run to the town to buy. Quickly, they brought cloth for me, a skirt. I want if you see my first message testimony, you see the way I even tie my hair. The suit that just a new Oklika suit I put on. It was not my cloth. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was weeping in my room that no one that was not having respect before humanity. As a big girl like me, decent girl, I was dressing naked. Who would love me? Who would want to settle with a woman like this? No wonder better people will not be coming around us. All these foolish men. See the kind of dressing we are dressing. Tear, tear trousers. We will take the razor blade for ourselves. Tear the trousers. I lash, we won. This is how they hang in my house. We won cap. My friends, some of them I did not believe. They can say, please, oh, if you want to burn, they give us. Because I was a good in buying these things. We burn them. Everything, chain, this, that. They now bought me some cloth I wore. So when we went to the, the chapter meeting, after Sunday, Sunday service, the leader now told me I should explain to his church people before we go to the chapter meeting. So, I was ashamed. People were following me up and down. I said, me, I don't know how I will start this preaching now. I will say. So, and I wrote everything for Sister Finda. I said, Finda, we will go. I will be guiding you. You will tell her like this. Your sister enter her father like this. I, I don't know how to do it. So, Finda now said, Linda, me, I'm, I, I don't know. I said, no, let's go. Then when we reached, Finda now was talking. They were expecting me to stand up and was talking. Then Finda now started talking. Well, I'm not a person, but this is what she watches all. Instantly there, the Lord visited. Is it Finda I gave the word or you? 
they started praying for me because I was beaten in the sense of the voice of God. Not that they were using cane on me. The voice when God is talking to me. Is it Finda? I sent you. You are, you are ashamed to put my... You know that conversation. But it's because his voice was like a, like a, like a knife. Was too, too, too loud that it's like my eardrum will scatter. My heart will be... I was just feeling like, no, don't talk to me. Maybe I don't know how God will do it, but I don't want to hear. Because if I'm talking, I'll be crying. I'll be shouting. No, this, that. Then as we went to the chapter meeting, they now play message. And take time to be holy. We pray this that we sat down. As we were there, then Pastor Rica mounted the pulpit. He started preaching for like 10 minutes. Then the voice came to me and said, this is my son listen to him then i shouted in the chapter and say hey people should come and see this man oh this is the man jesus said i should listen to he says his son all the chapter people were shouting hallelujah and they were dancing then i told pastor bimba the lord told me that he's sending me to a man this movement the owner of it is jesus but there is a man that is preaching his word now this is the man who is this man jesus say is his son jesus say is his son then pastor bema now said that i've told him about you i was so happy i can't wait to see pastor rica life to even touch him and say this man that god recommend i want to touch him if his own body different from my own when we came to nigeria i was looking at him very calm when we entered his house he was not even wearing slippers I was thinking when I'm coming, I'll see security because our own small church, our pastor, you have security. Even small church, oh, when he's coming, people will stand up. So this man that Jesus recommend, I say, ah! When we enter his house, he was just wearing barefoot. He was just going up and down and greeted us. Hello, how are you? Oh, is this Sister Linda? God bless you, you're welcome. Ah, ah, just like that. Is this the man? Ah. Praise the Lord. Then I started learning from Pastor Rica humility. This man is so calm. The way he talks, the, he will have patience, he will listen. You see, people will just troop into the house in and out like this. So he will cancel, he have time, nobody. I was like, ah, hey, this person I got recognized, recognized like this. I don't see any greatness in him in the sense of mighty house mighty things around me looking good i was just sitting and say ah, what am i saying the lord started teaching me that when i was on earth there was no difference between me and the disciples when they came to arrest me it was when judah showed them who i am to tell you that i was like them in the same attire i was sitting with them i was common among them when my anyone that is following me you will not lift up yourself i will you will be common with the people you will play with them even when you are a leader they will have freedom to speak with you they will respect you in my way i will make you to mix among them but those that carry themselves making themselves more than even god people cannot touch them people cannot see them they are not of me because they don't have my spirit. the lord start teaching me humility i start so wow to be friendly to people talk with people be nice to people you know it's nice so jesus was like that okay no wonder i started learning when daddy started preaching i now noticed that truly this man have the word because since i was born and then came to my senses of accountability no good and bad all my churches i've attended i've never had a pastor preaching these truths that as he's preaching you are crying i was crying because my sin was just dancing before me restitution was just dancing i say hey no wonder i went straight to hell because if this way this man is preaching is the truth that we need to know and make everyone as god says the truth then no wonder I went straight to it because I was arguing, God, what have I done? I pay tithe. I sing in the church. I help your pastor. I build church for you. Why did I go to hell? But when Pastor Rica started defining the Bible, the lifestyle of a Christian, Christian life and ministry, there's a message he preached like that. I cry. I was just crying. Anytime he preached, I will give my life to Christ fresh. He says, Sister Linda, anywhere you give your life, what is your problem? 
Anytime Pastor Dika preached, give your life, I will stand up, I will raise up my hand. He called me, he said, you have been giving your life how many times now? What is the problem? I said, Daddy, the problem is plenty. <laughs> so he started counseling me, go and do this, do like this, do like this. Today, I am walking free. Nobody's pointing finger at me. I know that I don't owe anybody. I've confessed my secrets to people, my family member. I'm not ashamed of anything again to stand before them to say, if I preach and I'll say, look at her. Is it not the one? I've, lame, I've exposed myself to my people. I went to my country, confessed my sin to the government. I took, I was tapping Nepal light. I did it. I was even on the pulpit. I would disgrace myself. I am free now among men. The Lord wants you to be free. Many restitution is in your life. With the revelation the Lord Jesus gave me when we are in Abba about the rapture, I'm going to tell you this time you think that the time is, is maybe, maybe you think, ah, ah, until my daughter that is in secondary school, that one will finish school, will marry, and get, give birth to a child, that one will grow up. I want you to think, don't think like that. I want you to be thinking that even your son that is in the university, anything can happen, will he even finish? Your mind should be so soon, soon, full of soonness of the Lord than thinking that the Lord is still tired. We were in Abba, then I had this dream. In this, my revelation, I was looking at President Trump in the TV. He was standing before White House, their own president's house, where the president stayed or the office. And I saw all these press people, white people were standing down and he was talking to them, but he was on, he was on like a story building at a front veranda place like that. Then he was talking about something, talking about something, and then he chipped in the voice of Jesus, he chipped in the name of Jesus and said, all these things they are doing, they should not forget Jesus, the time is at hand. He now showed them a clock. He now said, the time is now to 12 and the rapture time is almost at her. So when he said like this, the people were laughing at him for him to be thinking about Jesus, talking about Jesus. Jesus is coming. So some were look, pointing at him. They were laughing like the man is mad. Like what you are talking about? Jesus is coming. What are you talking about? So they were laughing at him. So me, I was sitting looking at the television and I said, ah, See how these people are laughing and see they don't know what is the, what the, uh, the name of Jesus. So him, President Trump, was looking at them and was saying, I'm telling you, he too, he laughed at when they were laughing. He said, but what I'm saying is true. Jesus is coming, see the time. So, and then he started talking another things about America. As he was doing that, that, Jesus now appeared by like the television side where I was looking. Then he now brought a Roman kind of figure clock where they would write two as one like I as one, one V like this. A big clock in his hand. And then he said to me, the time that Trump is showing them, before he said like that, he said, look at them. I am using Trump as a donkey that I used at, in the olden days to warn the prophet. I am using Trump to remind Americans that have forgotten about me about me again, about my coming. I am refreshing their memory about their Lord. My name has been disappeared. My what and my meaning of Jesus to them have disappeared. I'm using Trump to remind them. But see how they are laughing. They are playing with it. And then he now says, even the Trump, the time he's telling, he's showing to them, it is not the correct time. He say, they believe the world. He said, this is the worldly time. The world believe that I'm still delayed. It's like there is still few time for me to come. And when I look at American time, it was quarter to 12. Then the Lord Jesus now raised up his own clock like this. And said, this is my own time. When I look at the time, it was like one minute to 12. Immediately finished talking, it was sharp 12. Then I, where I was, where I was standing, I said, eh? I said, this is rapture time. Then the Lord now said, yes, this is rapture time. The rapture is here already. I said, hey, Lord, it's like where I'm even standing now. I cannot move again to go and tell people. I said, because I have four things that I need to do. 
And I begin to mention him before him. I say, I want to go and meet my sister because my elder sister is this staggering. I want to go and preach in the last time. And I was saying that physically in my heart. I say, if we are going to America next, I'm going to be firm with my sister. I say, I have to see my sister. Then I have program I want to do. I don't know which program I need to do. I was telling the women in turning point. I said, maybe it's the turning point program that was on my head. But I told the daughter, I said, there is a program I want to do that I say I will do. Then I want to visit my father's village. I say, and this is something physically I said, I told daddy that yeah, I would like to, I want to visit my, my country. He was saying, put it to God in prayer. My mind was, I need to visit my father's village. It's a strong place of evil, which I would like to visit there to carry the truth there. Then I now was saying that I need to talk to my people in Sierra Leone generally. The last time, I said, this time, if you say I go to Sierra Leone, I'll be very hard with them, the chapter people. I will be so this was what I was, these are the four things that normal life I was thinking normally. My mind was not running to a rapture dream. So in that dream, I was even telling Jesus, again, I said, I have this four things to do. Hey, so I wasn't able to, but the main thing that was pressing me in my heart that, that oh, I'm going to leave my sister. That's my elder sister. They, in the dream, my heart was paining me that I cannot go now because as I'm looking at the time, a sharp 12. So if I move now from here, it's like I'm going to rapture. I cannot go back to my sister. So in that dream, it's like I've lost my sister now. So I was like, hey, I was looking at the Lord. Then the Lord Jesus now said to me, He said, Go and tell my son. I've seen in him, he's walking using all his strength. For him, he wants me to give him more time to gather, to go around. But even me, I've seen in him, the strength is tired. It's just that he don't want to murmur, that he's, he's murmuring because of working for me. But even the strength is inside him, he's weak, he's tired now. The movement I've made him to be weak. Tell him, even me is God. I, the Lord Jesus, I am tired with humanity. Even me, I am tired with humanity. They are coming and they are going. Those that say they believe in me, when they come, they will go back. We are, you are busy, we are busy walking around there to change them. They are hardening their hearts. Why am I delaying my coming? Go and tell him. That let, let's just gather this once we have gathered. Let's go home. Let's go and rest. Even me, I'm tired. I look at the Lord. Ah, the Lord say, tell him, I am giving him 60 seconds to round up what he's doing. He's planning to hold a program for me. And then he said, look at him. I turned. I saw that he's sitting in a long conference hall with coordinators and other new faces, which I know that there are other pastors. And then he now says, see, but it was in a hall. It's not a hall. It was a big office, like a conference office. He said, they are planning a program for me. They are planning a program for me. Tell him, after that program is planning, I will be there to gather the ones, that, the souls that will come to me. After I gather them, let's just add it to this one we have and go home. Then I look. I say, hey. So me, I will not, me, my own, I will not have time again. No, 60 seconds. Then I look at the clock at his hand. It has like two seconds, two minutes have passed. Like the seconds have reached to five. You know, the thing that is starting to make the second. Then I say, hey, it is all, it's almost five seconds already now waiting. I was like, ah. Then he look at me and smile and say, my daughter, I know you have plenty thing to do now. But in these 60 seconds, run and do it very fast. No time. Then he said, go and tell my son, let's go. I am tired with man. I am saving them. They are going back. Even the ones that say they are, with, they are for me, they are playing with me. They are sinning, rising and falling. I am tired. I am tired. I can't delay my coming, then lose all the ones I have been keeping. Let me just gather these few ones and then go. Then I now say, hey, for him to make me to know that truly is coming. And I say, hey, I say, okay, I will go and tell that this. Then he now do his hand like this. Jesus opened this cloud, the cloud that will look like smoke like this. The cloud was like in his hand, like cutting. 
He now draw the curtain like this. I'm going to show you a clip. That is what I'm going to end with. To you to see what I'm talking. He opened the cloud like this. With his hand. Like when you are drawing a window curtain. The power of God. Don't draw the cloud like this. Like curtain. It didn't roll. Then I saw horses. White horses. Men. Great people. Human beings. Ancient people that have died. Because these are the people that are gone. But human beings. Angels. Countless number of them sitting on white, white horses. And then I saw Jesus. His own horse, he was not sitting on the horse, but his own was in front. The horse had something like char like a covering of king of kings kind of design. They were on top of the cloud. Then I say, Hey, Jesus, you people are already here, or you're on top of the cloud. Then the Lord said, Yes, we are on top of the earth. Like the cloud that you are not there on top there. So we are on top of the earth. As you see this, this, this thing, this thing tickling like this. As soon as he reached at that six, I'm open the cloud, I'm coming. I say, hey, not even a hour again. This is seconds now. To tell you that the way we are expecting Jesus to come in one hour or one month, now is so sooner than we expect. So as I turn to run to Pastor Rica, that Rica to say, see, Jesus is saying, I woke up in that dream. When I woke up, I told that dream. I said, Jesus is coming sooner than we expect. It's like we have to walk very fast. Your family member that are still delaying, you have to go to them now with all seriousness. Your sin that you are confessing, you have to confess it now. I've told you, hellfire is not a place you should miss. And if Jesus come now, it's another thing. Please let them play for you. The terrible thing that will happen, you that you are thinking out of rapture, you, eh, I can manage, I can manage. You don't even know. Even now that nobody is forcing you to serve Jesus, nobody is beating you, you cannot make it. Is it when the world will be on fire? You will say you will, make, you will serve Jesus. The church that you, you, you so love, you don't want nobody to control you. In this day, you will leave the church. You will never be a pastor again. Watch this thing and see. I will run off from there. And the Lord told me that you will tell them to surrender their life. Many of you, your name is not in the book of life. You carry title. You carry ties on your neck. You say, I'm reverend. I'm bishop. I'm an apostle. I'm a, I'm a pastor. I'm an evangelist. It's just you. Child have disappeared. Child have disappeared. In the hospital, all the babies they give battle, they have disappeared. You that you are busy crying to God for babies, for baby, God give me a child. You are backsliding because of a child. The child will go. See, how the parents are, they are crying now. Okay. The pilot is driving. You'll be busy going for business plan or even crusade. You never know rapture of come. It's gone. You are your qualification as doctor. You have left behind. She's crying now. Where are, where are my patients? The patient that you are not going to church with. See this one. He's turning. He cannot see the wife again. Wife have disappeared. Wife have disappeared. The teacher is busy teaching. Some of you can't come for God business again. And hey, my school. He turned around to talk to the, the people, the students. They have disappeared. Husband and wife, they are lying on the bed. He wants to hug the wife. The wife have gone. You will be sleeping with your husband, your husband will leave you. You will be sleeping with your wife, the wife will go. He's calling police, I can't find my wife. There is going to be terrible thing that day. You will run to your pastor, pastor of God. Chapter leader of God. The unit you don't used to go again, they will see only in conferences. When you go back to your state, your church denomination have taken over you. You don't bother about all anymore. You will go and see many of the all the people have disappeared. See, she's taking care of a patient. The patient have disappeared. You have been distracted by attitude of, of pleasure in the world. Walk have taken the time of God. The people you'll be working with for money, they will they will leave you and go. They want to do a, don't do operation again. I'm going home, a place where there is no sickness. Don't tear me anymore. The whole world will be elter skelter. See, people are crying. Everybody is crying. 
You that want to go to America, go to Europe, the Lord did not send you there, you go and backslide. See some of them are crying. This man, he loves his job more than the work of God. See now, I know you'll be saying, oh, rapture. Everything about salary now, big job now, he's hating himself. Everybody is crying. This one is crying. The baby he was pushing, the baby has disappeared. You don't have time for God. My children, my children. Sister, we are not seeing again. My children, my children. Nobody to stay with them. The children have gone now. Everybody is explaining. This is Israel. They are showing us now. Everything is going to be upside down. People are crying. People are crying. Your, any pastor that will stay behind after rapture, chapter leader, unit leader, coordinator, coordinator wife, prayer warrior, evangelist, people know you, think they don't know you, even the Muslim, they know you. If you stay behind after the rapture, your house will be filled with visitors to beat you up because you have deceived them. Prayer warrior, deacon, deaconess, choir leader, you are busy singing to the Lord, you stay behind. Who's Lord? This is how the world is going to look like. Nobody will have time to look for Kai again. Everything will be upside down. Your life will be scattered. Everything, nothing to hide, no hand robbery again. Everybody is running elter scatter. You will even take the money that you were fighting for. You will push it. You will cry. This is what will happen. Then the final judgment you will see. Play it for them. When the Lord will come, you that you are hiding your sin. You that you are hiding your sin. You don't want us to know you are a witch in this movement. You are a wizard. You are an agent of Daniel. With all this word you are hearing, you cannot come out and say, yes, I am. Please, see people deliver me. You are still pretending to be a, a serious sister, a brother the among us. The time is God. coming. This is what will happen. The coming of Jesus for the final judgment of the world is coming. Your life will be played like movie, like this. On the clouds of the sky. Increase it small. With power and glory. When the Lord will be coming with the holy angels and the holy saints, may you be behind the Lord in Jesus' name. May you repent of your sin today. When the Lord will be coming to judge the world, may you be behind the Lord. When the Lord is riding his horse, you too be behind him with your own horse in Jesus' name. You will repent of your sin today. You will drop your sin today. You will drop your charm today. You will confess your sin today. The whole world will see him. The Muslim will know we are serving the King of Kings. What are you be doing on earth? When you say you are serving Jesus, you should be coming with Jesus. Let the Muslim see you. Let the pagan see you. Let your family member that did not believe in your Jesus will see you riding with Jesus. But you will be on earth. Jesus is coming. Every is now they are praying. Oh God, show us mercy. Now we believe in you. What are you waiting? The whole Africa will see him. What a, he said, I will make your enemy your footstool. I will give you honor. This is one of the greatness. You are riding with the King of Kings on the earth. You are riding with the Lord of Lords. The whole earth is seeing you. They don't need to put you on television. Your enemy will see you riding with Jesus. And you want to waste this privilege because of what? You will repent today. And all the see it. Will be opened. Those that have died. The power of the God of heaven. Are you trying Jesus? Who is Satan? Can Satan do this? The power of the Holy Ghost. Dry bones shall rise again. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of Jesus. Who can battle with our God? I want you to fear Jesus. You will surrender to Jesus. You witch, if you are here, watch. Your time is coming that nobody will save you. Can you see power? Can you see the power of Jesus? The bones this is the just a dramatic, this is a the real covered. one is coming, the whole world will shake. And they will regain life. Coming back to flesh, the death will arise. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of Jehovah. The man is looking surprised. Somebody that has become rotten, become scorned. Body of Every hidden back. things, good or bad, will be revealed. He's sitting on his throne, the throne to judge the God. living, to judge you. The books will be books opened. Books will be opened. 
the books will be open. You pastor secret sin. Everyone you are still denying the truth. Meek and strong will stand this one you don't need to deny. The throne Watch of and Jesus. see. Your life will play like movie. You don't need to say, God, no. I did not touch the lady. I was not planning to kiss her. This one, they will play it for you like movie. See what is going to happen. The angels have appeared. Judgment Day. Who, who are you? Pastor, Bishop, Overseer, General Overseer, Superintendent. We will see that day. Sister, Brother, Usher, Choir Leader, Chapter Leader. He is sitting as King of Kings, Every ready to judge. Will be judged according to his deed. He's waiting now. Man who set his wife on fire this and possessed. Man set his wife on fire and carry an he killed the wife because he wants to marry another woman. This is what play before the Lord. But on earth, people thought that the wife died on natural death, the wife died by fire. As not knowing that is the one that killed the wife because he wants to marry another girlfriend. Play it. Another woman to hell. Who will save you? Nobody will save you. One who denied the poor and squandered you his wealth. You are greedy. You don't help the poor. You don't help the needy. You don't support the house of God. You keep money for yourself. People will be begging you. You don't give them. This is the sin of this man. They are dragging him to hell. his daughter the father slept with the daughter raped the daughter and you call yourself a leader in the church you have slept with your younger sister you have slept with your wife sister your wife friend you don't want to confess you are busy keeping it see it now that is it this one slept with the wife with the daughter rape your own daughter to hell you don't need to talk. Your life will play. A prostitute. She's a prostitute. Sleeping among men different. A greedy doctor. A greedy doctor taking bribes from people. If you don't bring money, they don't treat you. Sometimes they will take bribe from you. You go to the office, they take bribe. You too, you give bribe. See the life. What shall he profit you? Now where is the money? You are taking bribe in the office. One who had Even persuaded people bribe. to worship man Those idols. worshiping idols. He was teaching people to worship idols. Some of you, you are teaching God's people to worship idols by giving their handkerchief, oil, water. This man, they are sending him to hell. He was teaching people to worship idols. He puts a statue before them. They were worshiping. Some of you, you are making people to worship idols. Giving them comb, giving them staff, giving them handkerchief, giving them apron, giving them, giving them substance to be praying to, giving them picture, praying in the name of my papa, my papa, my papa. This is how God will judge you to turn people from God to, to fake, to other things. Play it. Yes. All those whose name is not found written in the book of life will be thrown into the lake of fire. This is how they will be going to the lake of fire. This is how they will be burning. This is how they will be burning. This is how they will be crying. Nobody will save you. This is how you'll be rolling. This is how you'll be burning. This is how you will regret your title that you were not called. You call yourself for money. The book of life. The book of life will be open, open to strengthen the Christians so you reward them. Your name is found in the book of life. All your suffering is over. You will see. He the was helping the poor and proclaimed Jesus Bring, to many. He was proclaiming Jesus to many, doing evangelism, giving life to people. 
He has been clotted. He is going to heaven. The Lord has changed him forever. He was a good evangelist. It's a rewarding God. A righteous woman who helped the gospel ministry. A poor woman. He was helping the gospel. He was giving his small, small money to the gospel. Helping the pastors. Helping the church. They don't need to beg her. She will sow and send the money to the church. See her now. She's looking like a young woman. The angel will come and carry her. You don't need to walk. They will fly with you to heaven. A man who helped a the good abandoned and left the according to the word Those that are suffering for the gospel, he's helping them. He's encouraging them. Abhorring them in his house, giving them food. Now his reward has come. They are carrying him. A woman who heard the word of God and accepted Christ with repentance. Those that heard the word of God and accepted Christ with true repentance. The lady was just passing on the road. He heard the word from this boy mouth. He repented and now rapture can see she's going now. She repent truly. This is what you are going to do today. This is what you are going to do today. We are living in the seconds now. The Lord is coming. They killed, they, they, they persecuted life. him, they killed the him because of Christ. Of they will be fighting you because of Jesus. But see him today. Those, who those that kill him, those that fight him, the they will be God. watching him going up. The Lord will honor will be you before your enemy. They will be seeing you going up like this. And will be those that are laughing at you look like old woman. Home. You are not preaching holiness, you don't have money. Pastors, all on, no worry. They that have jets, that have this, in the wrong prison. way. In the the Lord will honor life, you like this. All of us will be going up to heaven dies. like this. All of us will be going to heaven like this. All of us will be going to heaven like this. All of us will be going to heaven like this. That's why the Lord wants to save you now. The Lord wants to save you now. The Lord wants to save you now. You don't want the Lord don't want you to be a coordinator and see another coordinator is going and you stay behind. Another pastor is going and you stay behind. Your neighboring pastor is going and you stay behind. Because you see, everybody was standing there in the presence of every human being. You will not see Pastor Rika going and say, Hey, I know Pastor Rika, see him going, and you, your own is so ahead. Let's be on our feet. You are a woman leader. Other women leader will be going. You, you stay behind because you did not confess your sin. We gather pastors and this is the first leader uh, G gs conv convocation holiness of moment many of you this is your first time coming here this is what we do here we open the eyes of people turn them from darkness to light we show them the value of living is for heaven there's nothing in this world all this pleasure you are seeing is nothing if you follow holiness and righteousness and clean yourself and your church even if you don't have that many members you are content with your little money and little member and preach the truth, you will make heaven. Now the Lord wants to save you. Don't be a, a pretending pastor. Don't carry pride. Don't bother about the shame. Some of you are ashamed to give your life to God because of who you are. But you know truly you were not preaching this thing in your church. Truly you were fighting this message. Some of you listen to Sister Lina, you doubt it. Some of you, you were saying, ah, Pastor Rika, holiness, leave these people alone. Some of you, you did not believe some of you, you have gone to different pastors to lay hands on you. Some of you, you have been using your platform to lie and say the Lord say when the Lord did not say. Because you just want people to stay under you. Some of you, you have been using these satanic things, charm, all these things to brainwash people. Let everybody close eyes. If you know you are that kind of pastor, or you have pride in you, lying tongue, sin in you, masturbation, lusting, anger, adultery. You and your wife, you are not living well in the house, but outside you are pretending. You fight, you argue. Don't be a pretender because see, that day your life will be saved. Anywhere you are, raise up your hand. You that need second touch, begin to come in front. You need second touch. Pastor, the Lord is looking for Joshua. The Lord is looking for Josiah. 
Daddy preached yesterday about the power, the heart of Josiah. Somebody that abolished the law, the evil tradition, and restored the work of God. We need Josiahs. The Lord wants to give you the spirit of Josiah to go to that your bishop, even if you're a pastor, in a, in order somebody. The Lord wants you to go and transform that church. The Lord wants you to transform your ministry. The Lord wants you to change your family member. This trip, they will know that you are a true pastor. You are coming out from a, a home. All your family members are sinners and you call yourself pastor. You sit and drink palm wine with them. You laugh with them. You joke with them in sin. There's no difference with you and them. The Lord wants you to transform them. You are here, your children are sinners. You are not saying anything. You overload it. Say, by grace, they will be saved. It's small, small. It's not small, small. Come and say, Lord, have mercy. I'll fail you. No wonder you see sinners are increasing. I'm a pastor. I'm not making impact. Have mercy upon me. Deliver me. I'm an evangelist. I'm going up and down, not changing people. I'm doing it selfishly. I'm a reverend. I'm a bishop. I'm an archbishop. I compromise. Oh, Lord, I'm a pastor wife. I don't advise my husband well. Truly, I used to talk something that is up. Father, have mercy on me. I am a wizard. I'm a witch. Truly, I've gone so many places for power. Father, Lord, have mercy on me. There is something I did in 1970. This, oh Lord, I'm still hiding it. I'm ashamed. But Lord, today I will confess. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Father, show me mercy. I have anger. I have pride. I have covetousness, spirit. I use God money anyhow. I cannot record for it. I don't keep record of how I use God money. Lord, have mercy on me. God, have mercy on me. Father, have mercy on me. I am a lazy pastor. I am a lazy woman of God. Oh, Jesus, show me mercy. Have mercy upon my soul. Father, forgive me, oh God. I have pride. Father, forgive me. Masturbation. Father, forgive me, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, I have lost him. Papa, forgive me, O oh Lord. Jehovah, show me mercy. Papa, show me mercy, O oh Lord. This is the hour, O oh God. Don't allow me to be a pastor in vain. Ah, Jesus, show me mercy. I can't suffer in hell forever. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. I know I've sinned against you. I know I've misunderstood your word. Some of you preach the gospel wrongly. You just use your own common sense. It is a sin. You don't know, you don't know. Ah, Papa, forgive me. I have been interpreting your word wrongly. Papa, have mercy. I've compromised your standard. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Sanctify me, Lord. Purify me, Lord. Make me holy. Lord, make me an image of you. Sanctify me, Lord. Purify me, Lord. Make me holy. Lord, make me an image of you. You make Peter an image of you. You make Matthew an image of you. You make Paul an image of you. Lord, I want to be an image of you. Jesus, I want to be an image of you. Jesus, we want to be an image of you. Ask the Lord for mercy. You don't pay tight. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Your deliverance can be now. Your cleansing can be now. Your salvation can be now. It doesn't matter how many years. It doesn't matter how many decades. It doesn't matter the rottenness of your life. Your salvation can be now. This is the hour and the minute and the second and the hour of salvation. Amen. 
Amen. Now can be your new dawn. The merciful Father, He has remembered you. The merciful God, the merciful Jesus, He has remembered you. You have been a minister for 20 years, but you are rotten like a decayed egg. To you, you felt I can continue to pretend the Lord has given you a minute chance and your matter is in your hand. You are now the judge of your matter. The Lord has withdrawn your case from the pit of hell and has made you the judge to set you free. Can you now be free? Yes, you can be free. Can you now be cleansed? Yes, you can be cleansed. Mercy, oh Lord. Mercy, Ada, show us your mercy. Mercy, oh Lord. Father, show us your mercy, mercy, oh Lord. Before you pray, turn this song into prayer. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. Almighty God, show me mercy. My Father, show me mercy. Jesus Christ, show me mercy. Immortal God, show me mercy. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. You woman there, ask the Lord to show you mercy. You pastor there, you evangelist there, you the preacher of the gospel, ask the Lord to show you mercy. It is hour of mercy. Today is your new dawn. You are preacher, we are preaching on righteousness. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. Holy Ghost, show me mercy. Ask the King of Kings to show you mercy. It is a new dawn. Yeah, today, yeah, today, your now is a new turn. It is a turning point to preach in righteousness and to live in righteousness. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now you promise the Lord, I disconnect myself with Satan. I disconnect myself from Satan and Father, I make a promise, I will stand for you. I will disgrace Satan. I will share my testimony of deliverance, of how Satan deceived me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Promise the Lord that you have disconnected yourself from the power of darkness, from the deception of the enemy. Oh Lord, I disconnect myself. Mighty Father, I disconnect myself. Tell the Lord, you have disconnected from Satan. You will no longer align with him. You will no longer masquerade yourself. Oh Lord, I will no longer, I will no longer walk to please Satan. In Jesus' name, we pray. Again, you will tell the Lord, I will disgrace Satan. I will tell my congregation the truth. I will tell them I have deceived them. I will make it an open confession. I will start it from here. Oh Lord, grant me the boldness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The boldness to disgrace Satan, to share your testimony of deliverance, to tell the people the truth, to tell the church the truth, to tell the public the truth, 
that you are going to deceive. You have been working with Satan. You acquire the power from Lucifer, from devil, from fallen angels. But today, the Lord has delivered me, and I want them to be delivered. As the Lord grant me the boldness, the boldness to stand before your people and disgrace Satan who have been disgracing me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to take you back to Christ to renew your covenant with him and also to have a definite encounter and genuine encounter with him. It doesn't matter what I say, you say with me, my Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus, today I have come back to you. Oh Lord, I have returned to you. As a prodigal preacher, as a prodigal son, I have returned to you, God. Mighty Father, show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Welcome me back, O oh God. Welcome me back, O oh God. Cancel my name among the false prophets. Cancel my name among the deceivers. And write my name in the book of life. I surrender my life. I surrender the congregation unto you, O oh God, whole and entire. Mighty Father, thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Grant me the boldness, O oh God, to disgrace Satan and tell the world how Satan has used me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, mighty Father, we hand over your children who are sincerely, who are broken, who have been arrested by your word. And this day, they are kneeling down. They are standing up before you. We pray, mighty Father, that this spell Satan cast on them be totally broken, be totally destroyed, and their soul and their body and their spirit be set free in Jesus' name. Mighty Father, we pray that today will be a new dawn. They will never go back again. Egypt will never see them again. The book of death will never see them again. Oh Lord, write their names in the book of life. And so shall it be. And mighty Father, all of us, strengthen us God. Strengthen us King. We are waiting for rapture. We are rapture ready. Thank you Father. Thank you Holy Ghost. Thank you Trinity. Thank you for your servant that you have been using. May it continue to be a celebration gala until we see you and part no more. Thank you, Father, because it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. 
God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe. Came from 
Jesus, I believe. 